Hi everyone, I am JL Ringer and I want to welcome you back to my channel. I have a haul today. I went to both Ulta and Kohl's and bought some goodies and I only spent a total of $30 because I used uh, Ulta points and then I used Kohl's cash back and also the rewards program. So if you want to see everything I bought at Ulta and everything I bought at Kohl's, then stick with me. So I'm going to start with my Kohl's haul first. I really enjoy Kohl's. I shop there uh, for my kids for their back to school clothes. And so I get a whole lot of those Kohl's cash back, which is basically, it's either 10 or $15 for every $50 that you spend, you get that cash back. And it's given to you in a certificate that you can use at a later date. So I had $10 of Kohl's cash back and then I also had um, $20 of Kohl's rewards. So you can stack those. So you also get rewards where you spend so much. It's kind of like the point system in Ulta. You spend so much money, you get um, rewards back for spending, basically. So it's like every $100 you spend, you get like $10 back, or I don't know exactly how it works. But um, I had $20 Kohl's cash. I had $30 total. So I decided I was gonna spend it on makeup because Kohl's has some pretty good makeup. They have, BH Cosmetics, which is kind of awesome because you can go in there and swatch it. Now, I know Ulta has it as well, but they don't have quite the selection. It's definitely not the same selection as they have at Kohl's, and Kohl's has a Desert Oasis palette. I have been lusting after this palette for months, pretty much since it came out. I took one look at it and I just knew it was a palette that would work really well for my skin tone and that it would be a really good traveling palette as well. This is $22.50 and I will just open it up. I know it's it's kind of glaring. Um, it's got a gold metallic sheen to the packaging, but here is the palette. I am going to swatch everything for you. So if you want to fast forward, you can fast forward to the very end of this video and I will swatch all of these colors. I have another palette that I also bought from Ulta and I will swatch that as well. But these colors are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, a beauty guru made me do it. She uh, on Instagram posted a picture of this and it kind of reminded me of how much I wanted this palette. I went into Kohl's. I was just running in there to go um, ex to take something back, I think for one of my kids. And I saw that they had this palette to swatch and it swatches even more beautiful than it looks in pictures. And it looks gorgeous in pictures. But a lot of these are very foiled eyeshadows and foils are one of my favorites. So this is a gorgeous palette. I will swatch it all for you. I am so excited to use this. If you are interested in seeing me do um, a first impression or do a review on this and let me know in the comments section and I would be happy to do that for you. There are a few other brands that Kohl's has um, that like Ulta and Sephora don't have. You can go there and swatch the balm which is to me it's kind of one of those online presences and so it's really nice that you have a place you can go and swatch. So I also bought the Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss. This is a great lip gloss. I'm wearing it right now. It's in the color dramaticize and it's kind of a peachy nude color and like I said I'm wearing it right now but it is a really interesting lip gloss formula it's supposed to plump your lips I have never used anything that actually plumped my lips but it has a menthol scent to it it smells great it's a very subtle menthol smell and it does have a cooling effect on your lips I didn't notice that it made my lips look any bigger it's like putting on a liquid lipstick uh, when you first put that liquid lipstick on, it's very liquidy and it's smooth and it's not sticky at all. Well, this is just like when you first put a liquid lipstick on, but it does not dry down. So it contains that same consistency as when you first put on a liquid lipstick. It's very thin and it is opaque. Here's a swatch of it. As you can see, it's just a peachy nude, which I need in my collection because I don't have any peachy nude lip glosses. So if you're interested in how this wears over the long term, just let me know and I'll do a quick little review on it in my next video. These Plump Your Pucker lip glosses, these are on sale right now for $7 at Kohl's. So if you want to get a good deal on these, they're normally $14. Run by Kohl's and grab some. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy the formula and I'm into lip glosses right now. I am 40. I have aging lips. I have fine lines around my lips and I just find that lip glosses tend to be more forgiving. I love my matte lipsticks. I'm not going to lie. I still love them, but I am starting to understand the appeal especially as you get older to using lip glosses and this one seems like a really good one I'm excited to use it over the coming weeks I'm gonna start next with my Ulta haul I'm gonna start with the hair product that I got this is it's a 10 miracle leave-in product they have a 10 time multiplier right now if you are a platinum I believe it's five times for everybody else but if you're a platinum or, or diamond you can get a 10 time multiplier so this was it's for their best-selling products this is one of their best-selling products 
This is a product that I use for my six year old's hair. If you have very fine hair and thin hair, this is probably gonna be too heavy for it. If you have thicker hair, this makes your hair shine to high heaven. So my six year old has very thick, almost reddish hair and I put this in it and it makes her hair look like spun gold. She's actually had kids at class tell her that her hair is made out of gold. This stuff, I tell you what, it is gorgeous in her hair. So. I wanted to get another bottle for her um, because she enjoys it so much and it smells really good and it also gets the tangles out of her hair after she takes a bath. So the Perversion Urban Decay, this is the mascara. It's my favorite. Uh, this is a really great, great mascara. It is uh, $24 and I think this was, this is a little over $18. This one is $24, but it has a 10 time multiplier as well. So I went ahead and grabbed one and this is, I mean, if I had to pick one holy grail mascara, this would be it. This lengthens your lashes and it doesn't clump and it just makes them look longer. It doesn't really volumize, but that's what I want. I want something that lengthens my lashes without making them look clumpy or spidery. When you first use this mascara, it's not the greatest. You need to let it dry out for a, like three to four days. Once you hit that three to four day mark, it is an amazing mascara. So don't judge it the first time you use it because it doesn't lengthen as much the first time. But once it gets a little bit older, like a lot of mascaras do, it wears beautifully. It is by far my favorite mascara. I am currently using, in fact, I have it on today, but I am currently using just a mini of these. They have them for $10. So if you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, but you wanna try out the formula, then grab the $10 one and see if you like it or not. I love it. Next, I have my primer potion from Urban Decay. I finished my primer potion. Praise God above. I thought my grandchildren were gonna have to finish my primer potion because this stuff I have had for four years in my old bottle and I love it. Nothing works as well in my opinion as a primer potion. I have the Lorac one, I have the e.l.f. one. I'm going to use them up. I have a lot of glitter ones as well and I'll use all those up. This is the one I use on a daily basis and I love. And the trick is to apply the absolute thinnest amount you possibly can. The thinner you get it, honestly, the better it works in my opinion. If I get it too thick, it can kind of make my eyeshadow look a little um, patchy, I guess you could say. But if I do a real thin amount, then it just makes my eyeshadow stay all day it just I don't it just it's like glue I mean it just grabs onto that eyeshadow and it does not let go all day I have like I said had my old bottle for four years I used it about maybe two or three times a week for a couple of years and then I started using it four to five times a week for like the last year that is how long it has taken me to go through a bottle. So um, it's kind of pricey. I think it's like, I don't know, $20, $24. I'll put the amount below, but it really is the best. And it lasts so long. If I were to divide the amount that I spent on it by four years, I'm only spending like, I don't know, $6 a year for my primer potion, which isn't very expensive considering how well it works. Okay, so the next thing that I got was my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is my holy grail. I have tried so many foundations and I keep coming back to this. If you all know of any really amazing full coverage foundations for dry skin, let me know. I just took back the Hourglass Foundation Stick. It was horrible. It just, it accentuated all of my dry patches. I didn't like it at all. But this Double Wear is a matte foundation, but it doesn't accentuate my dry patches. As long as I moisturize really well, it just covers beautifully. Um, I was a crew, but I went down to one in one Ivory New, which I think will be a better match for me. I am almost done with my accrue bottle which is like the one in two uh, and that's meant for neutral light skin. This is the one in one and this is meant for neutral fair skin. It does lean a tiny bit pink, but this is just such a great foundation. And I, I want to try other foundations. I want to fall in love with other foundations, but I always, always come back to this. Last but not least, the one I am most excited about besides my desert oasis, I'm very excited about that one as well, is my sultry palette. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I now have three Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This is obviously a very soft formula because you can see this is brand new, but you can see some of the powder that's kind of spread along um, the outside of the pans because I think it is so powdery. I'm dropping things. I will tell you what I do whenever I buy a palette. I always look at the palette and I ask myself, 
Can I envision three full looks using that palette? If I can envision three beautiful looks using that palette, then I feel like that is probably something that I should look into getting. And this is one of those that was very easy for me to envision looks because it has warm tones. I mean, you've got this kind of orange tone, but it leans a little more neutral, like towards the neutral end of the warm tone. And then you also get cool tones. And these are the shades that I'm most excited about. This is Cyborg, which is kind of a silver color. This is Slate, which is a taupey gray color. I'm really excited to use those. And of course you get a black. And then even uh, these shades that are the neutral shades like Twig, it leans a little more on the neutral side instead of the warm side. And I look better in those colors. Um, I tend to, if I want a warm palette, I try to get as leaning towards neutral warm as possible because that's just what looks better on me. So I looked at this palette and I swatched this palette and I could see all kinds of these light beautiful shimmers and I knew I would be able to wear any of those shimmers on my lids. A lot of these palettes have darker shimmers in them and those just don't work very well for me because I don't really use darker shimmers other than maybe to deepen out my outer V. But this has all light shimmers and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those. And like I said, it has the cool tones, it has the warm tones, but they lean more neutral. And I just know I'm going to get a ton of use out of this. And Anastasia Beverly Hills has a pretty consistent formula. I mean, subculture, you know, that was a little powdery, but her formula tends to be uh, powdery, but buildable and just a uh, overall consistent and nice formula. And so I'm excited to use this. I'm excited to wear this. And I knew that this would be a good palette for me. So I'm going to swatch these palettes for you. So if you want to hang out for a minute and just watch me swatch these palettes, feel free. If not, I want to thank you for joining me and I hope you will subscribe down below and leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to review any of these products. I'm really excited about them. Um, I will say that I only spent $30 at Ulta because I had 2,000 points and I used those 2,000 points. And then I also bought the items, several items that had the 10 time point multiplier. So when it was all said and done, I was left over with 1,000 points. So I still have $50 at Ulta that I can spend and I only spent $30 total on all of these items from Ulta which is incredible and that's one of the reasons I shop at Ulta they have such a great point program I love Sephora I love the fact that Sephora carries the higher end products but they're pricey and they don't have a very good point system so even though I could get the sultry palette at Sephora I would always get it at Ulta just because I can get points on it and those points are going to go towards free items later on and Sephora uh they just their point system just doesn't work as well in my opinion as Ulta's does. So if you disagree with me on that, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to discuss it. If you think Ult Sephora has a really great point system, I'd like to know why, because I love Sephora. I'd like to shop there more. I just can't justify it. All right, so moving on to swatches. And here is the palette up close again. You can see it's just a really nice warm toned palette, but it does have a few pop of cool tone and neutral tone shades as well. It's a really great palette in my opinion for traveling with, because you have everything you need to create a cohesive look several different cohesive looks actually plus you have highlighters um, and you can use the highlighters as eyeshadow as well if you want uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if they're eye safe but i use i i use highlighters as eyeshadow all the time and i've never had an issue if you have very sensitive eyes though you might want to be careful about that this first shade is called moonscape and it's a very yellow uh, gold color it's a nice shimmer second shade is also a shimmer it's called quartz and it's just a peachy pink shade next color is canyon and this would make a good transition shade or a good crease shade depending on your skin tone next shade is sand and that's just your typical shade that you want to use if you have a lighter skin tone to set your primer next shade is terrain and that's another gold shade but it's a deeper gold kind of reminds me a little bit of a rose gold shade and that is, uh, it's almost a foil shade. It just has so much iridescence to it. Next shade is Prickly Pear. And that is kind of a red shade. I mean, it's very, very warm tone. It's brown, but it has, it looks like it has red undertones to it. And the next shade is Cactus. And that actually has, it looks like the same base as Prickly Pear, but it has a green shift to it. It's very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see that green shift or not. It's very interesting and very pretty. 
The next shade is Dune. You get a nice big pan of this, and this is a perfect red-toned brown and or an orange-toned brown, and it would make a great shade for deepening up your crease, adding that depth. The next shade is Nightscape, and this is, to me, it's almost cool tone. It might be neutral, but it looks pretty cool, and it's a very deep shade. It'd be good for... Uh, either your crease depending on your uh, skin tone or it could be used to deepen your outer V. Next shade is called turquoise. I don't see turquoise in that. I don't, maybe you do. Um, I see a silver tone. It's beautiful. It's cool tone and it's just beautiful. All right, next for swatches, I have Mineral. And Mineral is very similar to Quartz, but it is more of a, fo a foiled shadow, so it has more iridescence to it than Quartz, but it is kind of a peachy pink color, champagne-y color. It is beautiful. I'm really excited to use that all over my eyelid. And then next we have Sandstone. It's got quite a bit of orange in it. Um, it I think it's more of a coral, but it's definitely leaning more towards the orange than the pink. The next we have Heat Haze, and I would say that out of all of these, this might have the most iridescence. It is definitely a foiled shadow. It is strikingly, strikingly beautiful. So I'm using natural light right now, and unfortunately it's getting a little cloudy, so I don't know if I'm doing that justice, but it is gorgeous. These two together, Sandstone and Heat Wave, would be absolutely stunning. I'm excited to do a look with those two. Next we have Hot Spring and that is a cool tone and it's just a beautiful foiled blue color. I don't even have it in there, sorry about that. It is a beautiful foiled blue color, stunning. And then the rest of these, they are supposed to all be highlighters. I would not recommend if you have anything near my skin tone, which is a neutral 15, I wouldn't recommend using these last two, especially as highlighter. They are, I mean, they are practically foiled, but they are gorgeous. So this first one is Serenity. And I think this would make a beautiful highlighter on my skin tone. Uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Uh, and then Bliss is very uh, yellow toned, and I think it's going to be a gorgeous highlighter. And then Mirage, I think it's going to be my favorite highlighter of all. And it's just kind of a sh uh, champagne-y color, but it, it kind of leans a little bit uh, warmer. I would say that probably out of all of them, Serenity is the most champagne colored. And then Utopia and Hideaway, these are pretty dark. If you have a deeper skin tone, these would probably make a beautiful highlighter on you. On my skin tone, I'm going to use them as eyeshadow. They are practically foiled, and I think you can see that. I mean, look at the way that iridescence just moves with the light. They are gorgeous and they're practically foiled, like I said. So if you like to glow to high heaven, these would be great for you if you have a darker skin tone. Um, I would say that Mirage is, mm, it's a shimmer. It's leaning towards foiled, but not quite. And these two are more traditional highlighters that I will probably get the most use out of as highlighters. But honestly, all of these would be gorgeous as eyeshadow as well. And you get big old pans of them, so they'll last you forever. Here's a closer look at the Anastasia palette. And again, I apologize, but uh, it's kind of hazy here and I'm using natural light. So hopefully you can get a pretty good look at that. It has a nice mix of warm tones and cool tones, which is particularly why I bought it. It also has a lot of lighter tones and because I am fair skinned, those tend to look better on me and I get more use out of fairer tones and lighter shimmers. And this has a lot of them. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. All right, I'm going to start with Fresh, and Fresh is just that lovely color that you would use to set your primer. You can't hardly even see it on my skin tone because it matches so perfectly. And then Pearl, which is just a nice, pretty champagne shimmer. And then Steampunk, which is just a really pretty bronze shade. It's almost foiled, it's beautiful. And then Rose Quartz, which you know speaks for itself, it's a rose color. And then Ember, um, which is just a really pretty bronzy shade, deeper, deeper than Steampunk. And then Bloom, which is a really pretty coral shade. Birch, which is a warm tone, make a great transition shade. You can't even see that, can you? It'd make a great transition shade on my skin tone. And then Cinder, uh, which is practically foiled. I mean, it's a beautiful shade. And then Twig, which is surprisingly neutral toned. It's not very warm, which I think is great. These look great in my crease, these type of colors. And then Teak, which is very similar to Cinder, but it's a little bit darker. And it also is pretty close to foiled. 
Uh, it's not quite as iridescent as Cinder, but it's darn close. Teak's very pretty. Cyborg, which is kind of the whole reason that I bought the palette. It is kind of a silver lavender color. It's gorgeous. It goes perfectly with slate, which is that cool tone taupe color. It's, you know, a grayish brown color. And then, of course, you have Noir. And for some reason, I did not get dystopian in there. Let me swatch that real fast. Uh, for some reason, I didn't get dystopian in there, and that is dystopian, and it is very similar to slate, and it's a, I mean, in the pan, it looks very brown, but it's a pretty neutral colored um, brown shade, if not even leaning towards the cool. And that's all I have today, so I just want to thank you for being here today with me, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I hope that you will subscribe and like this video if it's if it's something that you find um, interesting, and I love hauls. I watch hauls all the time on other YouTube channels. I think it's interesting to see what other people are buying, because you know if they're repurchasing something, they love it, and that's what a lot of these are. A lot of these are repurchases, so you can be guaranteed these are products. A lot of these products are ones that I absolutely love or I've been thinking about a long time because I don't buy anything anymore without being meaningful about it and really thinking about it and trying to decide whether or not it is something that will add value to my collection, and everything I purchased today will add value to my collection. So like I said, give me a thumbs up if this is something that interests you, and I just want to thank you for being here today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.